I've recently got this beautiful looking ice bath and I've been using this the last few days, but before using this, I was taking my ice bath in the bath. I was doing my cold exposure in the shower and I went through a video a few months ago about some of the long-term benefits of taking a shower for your cold exposure. But in this video, I wanna show you some of the short-term benefits. What are the immediate effects that you can get straight after doing an ice bath or going through a cold exposure to hopefully give you some reason to do it in the short term. So hopefully this will inspire you. It's a, just a few degrees out here. The water is measuring around seven degrees, so let's get in. Oh, that's cold. Oh. So what are these benefits? So the first thing I wanna say is that as soon as you get out, you generally feel amazing. The effects that you get because you are, because your skin feels alive, you, you have a lot of energy. And I just think it's really hard to feel depressed after getting out of this. Maybe when you're in it, it might not feel the most comfortable thing, but it's so worth it when you get out. And here is some of the research on that. Now, before I go through the benefits, if you are new here, please can I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. If you enjoy this type of content, it would also help me to be able to continue to create better and better videos for you. Thank you very much. In a study done quite a while ago, they measured a bunch of stuff in people after doing cold exposure, so after having an ice bath and they found a number of things that changed, but one of them was a 215% increase in your dopamine levels. Dopamine is essentially your feel-good hormone, which would therefore explain why you will feel great and amazing after going and having an ice bath. Now, there is a way that you can maximize this effect, and that is by having coffee, or essentially caffeine, anywhere between 60 and 120 minutes before you take the ice bath. This has been shown to maximize the amount of dopamine that can be released after you have a nice bath. Now back to Iced Steve. And number two is that you get more mental focus and clarity. So I find that as soon as I get out, if I were to do some work straight afterwards, that it is some of my, my most productive work because I'm not tired, I don't have any brain fog, I have more mental clarity and I uh, just have more energy to do things. So mental clarity is a massive one and here's the research on that one and here's the reason why. So in this same study, they didn't just find an increase in dopamine but they also found an increase in noradrenaline. Noradrenaline can be part of the reason why you are gonna feel more alert and more focused. It's the same hormone that will be increased if you were in your sympathetic fight or flight state. For example, if you're running away from a tiger because you need to be focused and alert to be able to get yourself out of that dangerous situation. So after taking a nice bath, noradrenaline is gonna be raged, which is gonna make you more alert and be able to be more productive afterwards. Now there is a way that you can actually increase this as well and that is to do cold exposure while being in the fasted state because fasting also increases this and therefore if you combine the two together then you get a greater net effect. Now to number three. And number three, it helps boost your recovery. I normally find that if I go to the gym and I get back and I've got any aches or pains and then I go in this ice bath I generally find by, by the time I come out, I don't have those same aches or pains. And some people suggest that's because of a reduction in inflammation. Um, and I think there's also an analgesic effect that occurs afterwards. But here's some of the research that I found on that one and the reasons why you might have a, a better recovery afterwards or less soreness afterwards. One of the primary reasons why athletes would do cold exposure, getting into a nice bath after their training or after their matches, is because of this effect of a boosted recovery and many of them would swear by it and it's also something that many other people that are not at a high level would also still do because it 
find that they recover quicker after their workout. But interestingly, the research is a bit up and down on this. So this one paper here showed how those that did ice baths and those that didn't do ice baths, that there wasn't a big difference between the two groups in the amount of inflammation that they, they could measure in their bodies. But then this paper here showed how there were more mitochondria in their muscles in those that did ice baths. So the mitochondria are past the cell that are going to produce the energy for that cell, so for your muscle in that situation. So I would say that for me, it's certainly something that helps me recover and I'm less likely to get aches. And I think part of it can be an analgesic effect. But I would say that if it works for you, then fantastic because the research is a little bit up and down, but it makes sense that cold reduces inflammation, therefore can help boost the recovery. And number four, finally, it helps boost your resilience, your mental resilience, because if you can do this first thing in the day, then I think you give yourself evidence that you can do difficult things throughout the day. So being able to challenge yourself first thing in the day will give you the impression that you are somebody that can go through these challenges and you're more likely to do difficult things that will then reap um, better rewards throughout the day. So it's getting really cold, so I'm gonna get out. Um, but here are some bonus benefits that are more long-term, that are pretty significant for cold exposure that you can get and some more reasons why I think you should try this if you think you can do it and I think you can do it. So I'm going to get out and I'm going to go through those benefits now. So as well as the short um, immediate benefits that you can get from taking ice baths, there are also some um, incredible long-term benefits. And then I'm going to go through two here. The first one is, and this has been researched quite a lot in particular, and that is the increase in brown fat that you get the more that you do cold exposure. You generally have two different types of fats in your body. You have white fat and you have brown fat. What makes brown fat different and gives it its color is that it has more mitochondria in it, which is the energy cell that I spoke about earlier. Because there's more energy in this type of fat, it has a higher ability to be able to keep you warm when you're cold. So the more cold exposure that you do, the better you're able to regulate your temperature and therefore you're not gonna get cold quite as easily in cold environments. Now the second advantage of having more energy in the fat is that you're gonna have a higher metabolism because you're gonna be burning more energy, which means then you're gonna be better at losing weight. So it can actually be an effective way of losing weight. And the other amazing thing about having more brown fat is it enables you to be able to regulate your blood sugars better and therefore really, really good and important for those that are diabetic or pre-diabetic. Now the second long-term benefit that you can gain from taking regular ice baths is that it increases and boosts your immune system. There have been many studies showing how it boosts your immune system and that you are less likely to get ill if you're exposing yourself regularly to cold exposure. Now, the great thing about this is that you don't have to do a huge amount at one time. I tend to do around five minutes and I'll do this about three or four times a week. Now, if you like the look of the ice bath that I showed you today in this video, you can get this yourself if you're in the UK. I got this in a crate and I actually built it myself. Um, it was quite a great experience. If you want this ice bath, then you can get this. I'll put a link in the description. This was gifted to me very generously by Keiko Wellness, uh, which is a company in the UK that provides ice baths. They also provide other incredible stuff. Get yourself one. This is a great way of doing it. It's so much easier than filling up a bath every day. Now, if you don't have one of these or you don't have the space for one of these, don't worry because there are many ways in which you can get cold exposure, as I alluded to at the very beginning. And that is to have a cold shower, that's usually the easiest way. You can do it through a cold bath or an outdoor ice bath, as I showed you. Now, if you found that interesting, I think you'll also find the video that I did a few months ago on cold showers, and I went through more of the long-term benefits that you can see there. And so I will see you either on that video or on my next one, so make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.